Hello, Hello and welcome to another video from our Professional Glass Bonding with Baller series. My name is Dieter Biolik, I'm an Application Technology Advisor at Baller and will guide you through this video. This time we'll deal with the classical glass metal bond using a UV curing acrylate adhesive. We've already prepared everything we need. First of all, a cleaner for the glass and the metal surfaces, the required adhesive, in this case a medium viscosity adhesive, and, of course, the corresponding metal adapter. In this case, a metal adapter for table legs. I'm already wearing the required personal protective equipment so that we can start right away. The first thing to do is determine the position of the stainless steel adapter on our glass pane. To do this, we use an L-square and a felt tip to draw a half cross onto the glass. This is the angle the adapter will be bonded into from below at a later point. We use our special cleaner and a clean, ideally lint-free cloth to clean the metal adapter and the corresponding bonding surfaces of the glass. We once again use our hot air fan to eliminate any evaporative cooling and heat both surfaces to about 20 to 30 Kelvin above room temperature. Now we can start applying the adhesive. Before we actually apply the adhesive, we first need to set up our lamp. This time, we'll use our twin LED. The advantage is that we can then continue working uninterruptedly. The adhesive application pattern of this medium viscosity adhesive depends on the geometry of the surface to be bonded. As I bond a round adapter in this case, I place a big round dot of adhesive in the center of the adapter. If my bonding surface were square, I would apply my adhesive crosswise. We now position our adapter from below inside the cross we've drawn on top. And spread the adhesive by moving around the adapter, applying slight pressure. We continue doing that until we notice that the adapter is not floating on the adhesive layer anymore, but is touching the bonding surface. Once our adapter is positioned in the right spot, we can switch on the twin LED. The pre-curing timer is set to 11 seconds. This is the value we have determined for this combination of lamp, glass and adhesive. Twin LED emits a beep when the pre-curing time is over. To remove the excess adhesive, we first loosen the adhesive around the metal part and then scrape off the already pre-cured adhesive from the glass surface. We ideally remove the last adhesive residues using glass cleaner. This avoids the so-called eraser effect, which appears when I have a tiny bit of adhesive left on my cloth and keep wiping the glass surface with it. After having removed any remaining excess adhesive, we turn our pane around again, secure it with the holding device, position our lamp facing the adhesive layer, and start the final curing procedure. The final curing time for this combination amounts to two minutes. When you hear this beep, the final curing time is over. Please remember, the full transport strength and load capacity is only reached after 24 hours. What should I say now to leave a good impression? Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again for our next video. Goodbye.